Hi guys, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and I am going to be delivering the love reading. And this reading is going to be for the next 48 hours. Okay, this could be 48 hours previously, 48 hours after, whenever this energy, you find yourself in, in, you find yourself in this energy, excuse me. Um, this reading could resonate with you and it could not be your story. So do not try to make it fit if it's not. I hope everybody is well and safe and taking care of themselves mentally, physically, and emotionally right now, because, I mean, it's 2020, so, which, it's not always bad, but it's been a little crazy. Even if it hasn't been crazy for you, we could all agree it's been a little crazy, okay? 2020 has not been my worst year. I can't go with that narrative like everyone is, most people are saying it's been the worst year ever, and I do sympathize with a lot of people because I know it just really has been for some people. Um, you know, I don't want to get into that too much, but... I found the beauty in it as well. So one of those things is ending toxic relationships, right? This might be the chance where so many of us are finally breaking free from so many old ways of thinking, old habits, old people, which to me, shedding energy, skin, relationships is really beautiful. And I'm excited. I am excited for new beginnings. So this is the next 48 hours for Aries in love. I'm going to see what is coming towards you or what are you dealing with right now in love. Okay. So what's today? The 19th. So this would be to like the 21st. All right, the first energy out here is loyalty. Your reliability demonstrates your love, loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. Beautiful, I like that card, I love that card. That card is like, it's very Aries, Leo, I don't know, most fire, well, mostly Aries and Leo. I'm not gonna say no other sign is loyal, but we had that loyalty thing going on, so you could be dealing with a, another fire sign with this card coming out. But something to do with loyalty is on the ta table here. Either somebody is being um, not being loyal or somebody is demonstrating the, the love of loyalty. <clears throat> so let's see what we have here. Willingness. You are able to compromise if the end result is love. And responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you ex express. Excuse me. Can I get that out? Okay. So let's see where this is going here. I didn't think I was going to pull three of those, but I did. Okay. Let's pull three of these in since I pulled three of those. And that was the power of love. Activation cards by James Van Pra. These are the um, Dorian Virtue cards, Romance Angels. Okay, it's very good. Give me three cards for Aries. What do they need to see in love? What do they need to see in love? I just want to remind you guys that I will be going out of town next week. Um, I will be away for like two weeks, so I will be doing readings where I'm going. Um, just give me some time to get set up. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. So I'm getting some vibes. Like obviously this is somebody who's in a relationship already or could be going into a new relationship that is just getting started and you may not be very trusting of the person. Let's see. Two more cards. Spirit, what is going on with the situation? Give me clarity on this situation. Sorry, that I heard somebody pull up. Give me clarity on this situation. Okay. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. <clears throat> That's exciting. Sometimes people don't like to hear that, but I I'm 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 open for whatever. You know, if if my if I am going to meet somebody who is not my usual type, knowing what I've been through, I'm okay with that. Okay, let's just see what the universe has in store for me. Let's see, one more. There we go. 
So at the bottom of the deck, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I like that card. All right. And we have, uh oh, deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay. So maybe someone is not being as loyal as you are or vice versa. Okay. And this could be also like, because someone is not giving the relationship a fair chance as well. Um, somebody could be holding their energy back intentionally, which is causing the deception. They're hiding things. They're not being as open and honest. And relationships can't flourish and grow if you're not being honest about the relationship, right? So let's see what's going on here for Aries. Okay, I'll cut them off, so... You may hear my son in the background. I forgot to tell him to shut his door and he's playing with his toys. Okay, what is going on with Aries in their love life? The Aries I'm speaking to. Okay, so we have, wow. So this is something new, okay? Because we have the Fool card here and we also have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like either something was cut away so something new could begin, right? There has been some truth and clarity about a situation if someone has been um, wearing a false mask. But with the full card, it's, this is like a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, brand new relationship. And that's why I kind of said, I kind of feel like somebody could be hiding their authentic self, maybe because they don't trust the new person yet. And this is just like trying to get to know them. You know, you're getting to know each other. And so you're kind of holding back your energy. Spirit, I think, wants you to take a risk on this situation also with the full card. So let's see. What is the challenge to this? Yeah, somebody I think is being sort of cold and aloof to the situation, maybe even detached. Um, because maybe you're feeling deceived, right? And I think you're just trying to do your own investigating and learn and figure out what is going on here this could also be an ex person an ex lover that might be the challenging this situation the queen of swords is like kind of like an ex-wife um male or, you know could be male or female but it's female here so that's why i said ex-wife situation let's see what does spirit want you to focus on oh. so two cards came out it was the i saw the emperor first so i'm gonna take that so I feel like in the world, so it's like completion of a cycle. So we have the fool here in the world. The word fool is the first card of the tarot. The world is the end. So there's something that has gone around full circle, right? And then it's beginning again. So with the emperor here, this is you, Aries, showing up in your reading very strongly, okay? To me, it's not really, um, I mean, obviously the emperor is somebody who is in control of situations, sometimes can be too controlling, right? So maybe that's why spirit is asking you to keep an open mind. Um, I don't feel like you're going to even allow someone to get over on you at all. I don't really feel like that is the situation here, but I think spirit is asking you to be yourself and allow to give this situation some sort of life in order for it to grow because it could be more beautiful than you think because we have the ace of cups here okay this might be time for you to open up a little bit so you can flourish let's see what happened in the recent past okay so that's understandable we have the six of swords here the reason why you're not opening up is because you left a difficult situation so you're a little bit guarded and not trusting right now um, but the good thing is you're moving towards a wish fulfillment here. We have the nine of cups, the two of cups. Wow. Okay. Um, and then we have the five of wands. So this is telling me that you moved away from sort of some sort of drama or conflict, but you're moving towards something way more better. Okay. Way more better and more beautiful. It's like 
it's it's a good relationship you're moving towards. So you have to be willing to cooperate with this because I keep seeing this willingness card. You are able to compromise if the end result is love, okay? And I just feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you're just trying to fill out this person, maybe even fill out yourself again, you know? You're trying to get to know yourself again in this new type of relationship. So let's see, what is crowning Aries? Yeah, we have the seven of wands. This is a defensive energy. I'm sorry. Oh, no. This is a defensive energy. I feel like you're trying to protect yourself from any kind of harm or conflict. Maybe situations from the past. Maybe you're having flashbacks. Or you're just trying to heal yourself still, but you're pretty defensive here, okay? And I feel like you're in your head about it with the Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords. Wow, yeah. So this is giving me a little insight of what happened in the past here. We have the Four of Swords the nine of swords and the five of cups you're still very 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 hurt in, in your head about what happened to you in the past maybe with a water sign uh yeah and then we got the seven of swords here okay so because of that you're kind of cut off communication from any new potential lovers or you're not giving people a chance to even get to know you because you're so focused on what went wrong instead of focusing on what could go right and what what will go right and what I think the positive in your life. So let's see what's happening in the future. Wow, it's still an energy of gardeness, okay? I feel like it's two, two stories here, okay? So it's either you or whoever I'm speaking to, one, you're heavily guarded, but you're going to hang in there and you're going to keep working at it with this new person. Even though you're wounded, they see that if this person is the right person, they're going to be patient and they're going to work with you and wait for you while you heal all of this because this is like toxic woundedness that you've been through. And another thing is that I feel like it could possibly happen is that you could be keep your guard up and lose this. Okay, I can clarify and we can see what exactly is going on because the queen of swords is somebody who has scorned and has been hurt and she's very cold and very detached um, because of the situation that she's been through okay and we have the ten of wands here at the bottom of the deck which is somebody who's holding on and carrying a lot of burdens with them so let's see what is in your emotional state aries all right so we have the six of cups it's either you're feeling um uh, I thought the card was facing you, sorry. You're feeling still some sort of attachment to the past or the past person here. You're feeling still very connected on a spiritual level to what has happened toward, you know, in the past. And this, you know, also could be that you are ready for love. You are ready to give and receive love, but you just don't quite know how to let your guard down yet, okay? This could be a Scorpio here at the bottom of the deck. We have the lovers, and the magician so you could be dealing with a gemini <clears throat> and this is like a soulmate connection here a choice a decision that you need to make as well so what is in your environment ah, there's a little bit of conflict okay theirs could be somebody who is fighting over you okay or this could be somebody who was fighting to get your attention. They kind of want you back now. And I say that because we have the King of Swords here. So when we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, it was at one point a divine counterpart, right? These are two people who have detached from the situation. It's kind of like um, divorced people, ex-lovers, people who have been scorned. And then, yeah, this is confirmation from Spirit with the Ten of Pentacles. People who are in a long-term committed relationship and it didn't work out. They're both kind of just scorn and bitter, I guess you can say. And that's why we have this five of wands in the environment. So there's somebody around you who is um, creating drama and havoc in, in your life. So what are your hopes or fears? What are your hopes or fears in this situation? The King of Cups. So this is very deep emotions, um, mature, very grounded energy. This is could be a Scorpio as well, again. 
Um, I'm getting a lot of Scorpio, a lot of water coming up. Not necessarily here, but I've been seeing it in the deck. So I feel like you could be, you're ready for love. You're hoping for love, right? I don't think you really want this past person to get in the way of what is to come towards you, but you're feeling very emotional about the situation. Sorry, guys, I keep going there. We got the two of cups here at the bottom of the deck and more of cups, nine of cups, okay? Sorry, I forgot to turn that off. Okay, let's see what the outcome is in this situation. Wow, what was that? And there's the Queen of Cups, okay? So there's a lot of partners I keep seeing that comes up here. So the outcome, we have the Justice and the Eight of Wands. You could be getting receiving some sort of communication. This could be legal. Like I said, it seems like there's a situation that somebody is either divorced or they had some sort of separation where they had to um, give back property. But with the Justice card, it's just the karma card for me, okay? This is like what you have sown, you are getting back. And for me, with the Eight of Wands, this is positive energy. This is positive circumstances coming back towards you. Um, this could also be some sort of legal communication that you're going to receive from someone. Also, like an energy of someone trying to get even. I'm so sorry. I keep looking back here. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's clarify. What is the fool for the Aries? Yes, look at that. So we have the Ten of Cups. So this is a new cycle. This is a brand new beginning. You're taking a risk on a relationship. You definitely are. And I feel like it's going to bring you great fulfillment and great happiness. So if you are second guessing the situation that you're in, just know it is going to turn out just fine. You're hesitant about it with the, um, the hangman, but I feel like it's going to turn out just fine. Okay. There's the queen of cups here and the lovers. Wow. So it's, it's going to be a very beautiful relationship. Um, you just have to get over that energy of being hurt and abandoned and whatever happened to you in the past relationship, you can't bring it into the new relationship. I know you've heard that before. So what is this queen of swords? Wow. The empress. Okay. So this could be like, you may have had children with this past person. Okay. And that's why they have such a strong hold or maybe been pregnant by them, have a strong hold on you. Okay. But also I'm hearing like the challenges is for you to step into that divine role that you are, you are meant for. Okay. You're selling yourself short. I feel like in this situation, maybe even some people may be thinking like they don't deserve this abundance and love. Okay. Uh, what is the six of swords here? Mm hmm. Exactly. The five of swords. That's exactly what you moved away from. Some really narcissistic, conflicting energy. Somebody who treated you very bad. Just to put it in simple terms, you were treated really, really bad. There was a lot of conflict. There was a lot of arguing. There was a lot of manip manipulation, lying, cheating. Um, you name it. Five of Swords is very nasty energy, but the Six of Swords is showing that you have left that situation. But it's also why you're very defensive here with the Seven of Wands. Let's clarify the Seven of Wands. And that's why Spirit, and it's like, I just saw it's right on top of the Give Your Relationship a Chance card. So it's time for you to let those guards down. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Yeah, look at that. The Ace of Wands. You're, you are being defensive towards the wrong person, okay? Don't block this new passionate relationship that's coming towards you, okay? With the worth waiting card here, and look, there's attraction at the bottom. Um, divine timing is at play, and you attract the love by enjoying this moment fully. You have to get out of your head and stop going back to the past, okay? Let's see what this nine of wands is in the future for Aries. Could be a missed opportunity. If you do not let your guard down, you will miss this opportunity. Be happy. This is a gift from the universe. After you heal, look at that. The six, uh, the six of pentacles, the star card, 
and the hermit card is saying you have taken the time that you needed to heal yourself you spent some time alone you've done your own soul searching and now the universe is giving you a gift okay but you're gonna miss this opportunity if you keep your guard up if you stay in this defensive energy what is the six of cups for aries Those are six of cups for Aries. Yeah, you. it's time for you to cut this past person out of your life. Okay, we got the queen of swords again. So I feel like someone, you, not someone, you, okay, have <laughs> this um, kind of coldness um, just about you right now because you've been hurt, detached. And it's not your fault. It's not bad. But look at that. We have the nine of swords here. This is somebody who comes in very in a very hostile manner, who likes to argue, fight, come in and out of your life, cause chaos. Um, but this is this past person here that you are feeling very cold to. You're trying to cut it out of your life, but it's like they keep coming back around with more drama. What is this five of wands? The eight of wands. So you could be receiving some sort of message If you're watching this, this is your upper hand. This is the universe speaking to you right now. This is your chance to get to pre prepared, right? So you don't let this person get to you or infiltrate your bubble or whatever you want to call it. You see that this is coming. There's some sort of communication that's coming towards you. Very passionate, very hostile, very dramatic. Okay, it's going to cause conflict in your life if you let it. Stop letting this past person dictate your happiness, okay? What is this King of Cups? Wow. So something is going to be revealed here. And it's going to make you very happy. I feel like this is going to, you're going to be enlightened to the situation that this person, this new person here has a lot of love for you. And they have a lot of good and positive intentions for you. Um, you just have to let your guard down before you miss this opportunity because the universe, this is the universe giving you a gift, okay? That is a gift they are giving you. So let's see, what is the justice and the eight of wands and the outcome? Two cards. Wow, the ace of swords and the two of swords. So there's going to be some clarity in this situation, but you have a decision to make. You're either going to keep allow, keep blocking this, right? Or you're going to let this happiness in, okay? you The decision is completely up to you. We all have free will, right? Um, but I feel like... I hate to say I feel like, okay, because I can't tell you what to do. But you have to do some soul searching. You have to do some, some healing. You know, look at the facts here. Um, look at the truths, okay? If you have to, make one of those things where you, you weigh out the, the pros and the cons of the relationship, the one, the new one, right? And I don't want to say compare to the old one because I feel like this new person is very, very good. And this deception card here, I feel like it's almost you deceiving yourself. I don't feel like it's the person you're involved with who is being deceptive. I feel like you're the one who's being deceptive because you're holding so much of yourself back. You're not showing your true, unique self, okay? And I think it might have an energy of self, could be self-sabotaging the relationship. Um, yeah, it's there's something that you're still very strongly connected to here, um, tied to energetically anyway. Um, we have the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So you could have been dealing with a very dangerous, toxic, narcissistic person who is a player who only did what they wanted to do, um, whatever drove their passions, and it kept you stuck, okay? But that's over now, so let it go. <laughs> that's what I have for you guys for your love reading for the next 48 hours. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye.